What's up guys? Today, I'm buying my Ferrari. Now I'm just fucking with you. But could you imagine being so rich that you leave your Ferrari in this parking lot to collect dust? And he's got a Jag right next to it. What's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna be painting the muffler my 2018 Subaru Impreza. There is something super cool in this box, but you're not gonna see it till next video. No, oh, what's in the box? What I want to say right now is make sure you watch the whole video because I add little snippets that happen to me throughout the week within the videos. So don't skip through the video because you might miss something. All right, on to this week's mod. All right, so before we start this mod, I want to classify the level of difficulty right before intermediate. Still in the easy level because we're hoping this is going to be super easy. But before we start, here's what you're going to need to do this with me. Easy enough. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is look under the muffler to see what we're gonna need to take off the muffler. Here's what I think we're gonna need right here. So here's what we see under the car. There are rods coming off the muffler that look like this that are held in by these rubber thingies. You don't really need any tools to take them off. I'm thinking we're just gonna be able to bend them off and pull them off. But what we will need, I believe these are the main bolts that hold in the exhaust system and the muffler. Let's figure out what size these bolts are and take them both off. All right, babe, so you see the big bolts right there? These? Yep. How's that fit? Yep. That's it? Yeah. All right. So which way? So righty tighty, lefty loosey. I know you have trouble with your right and left. <laughs> righty is clockwise. So I have to do a left. Yes, but see how it's not going? Yeah. There's a mechanism on the back of that socket wrench. Mm -hmm. First of all, put your socket all the way on. It's not even on. No, no. no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the mechanism on the back of a socket wrench, just twist it. There you go. So we, we made it so that you can go this way without it turning, uh -huh. so you can get your leverage and Break, go the other way. Try to loosen it. <laughs> no, it doesn't come out. <laughs> come on. Are you sure it's this I'm one? positive, my love. But you're gonna have to break it because it's been rusty on there. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> all, right, I can't. All, right, all right, let me try. I think it. this is the first time I'm ever using WD-40 for its actual use, which includes loosening rusted parts. I usually just spray it on my old cheap skateboard bearings. And it works? That was a nice spray right there. Good spray. Come on, baby. It doesn't come out. All right, all right, let me try, let me try. So, last time we went to the gas station, there was a guy there who was very nice, and he commented on this little sticker that I have on the back of my car from Naruto. And he was like, I really like that, I really like that. Hold on, let me show you something. This is my favorite character, and he pulled out a little figurine of Kakashi from the show. And I was like, all right, well next time I come here, I got one for you, I got a sticker for you. So today, I got the sticker, and we're gonna go drop it off for him. Yo. How are you? Oh, I just realized it was you, my bad. I, I was I about to ask. So last time I was here, what did you say? I said I like the little Itachi, little Itachi TV right here. One of my favorite characters out of the anime besides Kakashi and Nobita. Besides who? Kakashi and Nobita. Two, two of them. Milano, what you got? What you got for my man? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Yo. <laughs> That's all you, bro. Yo. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, this is so dope. This is my favorite moment Kakashi. There you oh go, dude. God, it's all yours. Bro. Oh my, thank you. You got it, bro. You oh, got it. Is... So right now, I'm working on trying to get these bolts off. There's one here, and there's one up top. What I didn't realize, if you swing around back, both of those bolts are held on by big nuts. I don't know how much that affected my ability to take off the bolt. What do you think? Definitely affected my ability. <laughs> Let me hit this little back part with a little WD-40. So, I'm gonna get a wrench on that piece. And I'm gonna hit this bitch with a mallet. Oh, -ho -ho. oh, babe. You coming up? Woo! Bada bing, bada boom. All right, guys. I forgot to tell you this before, but. The socket you're gonna be needing is a 916. If you don't have a socket set, in the description below, I'll link a cheap socket set you can grab off Amazon. It'll be there in two days. Make sure you cop that. It'll make it a whole lot 
easier. All right, let's get the next bolt out. Uh, that guy right there, we're gonna have to grab that one as well. Am I bothering you? No, but do you, I, I can't really move when you're all up in my shoe <laughs> like that. <laughs> Since I have no room to hit the mallet on this wrench, I put the wrench on the back side last time. <laughs> I'm gonna put the wrench on the front side, socket wrench on the back side, and smack that bitch with a hammer. Ow. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo. So we got the two major bolts out. I'm thinking those were the only bolts holding in the muffler. I think now we just have to remove those rubber stopper thingies and all right so I see two I see one over here so it's got just one there's one over here too one over there yes yeah, so there there's not two over there no all right so what we're gonna have to do is pull this part out of this rubber part I just sprayed this with WD-40 and it popped out. But here's the thing, if you want to lube up the hanger, which you need to, don't use WD-40. Use like Windex or something because WD-40 might be bad for the rubber. But check this out, boom. Sprayed it with WD-40 and she's gone. A little bit of WD-40 and popped right out. Why does it feel like? Oh, there's another one back there, babe. You didn't show me that one. There's one over here too. One over there, yeah. There's not two over there? No. There's another hanger right there. I gotta spray that one as well. Pop that off after we get all three hangers off. The muffler and exhaust system should be off. All right, guys. Two fat bolts on that side. Three rubber muffler hangers and it's off. Now we gotta clean this bad boy. Before we paint the exhaust and the muffler, we gotta scrub some of the rust off. There is rust everywhere. Then we can start painting. All right, to clean the muffler, two steps. Plain old soap and water, scrubbing, and after the soap and water and the brushing, we're gonna hit it with a degreaser, see if we can knock off all the oil. Oh, and put some soap in that water. A couple squirts. Stir it around a little bit. Nice. We're gonna degrease this thing now, try to get it super squeaky clean, and then we can start painting it. Get a little degreaser on there, see if that does anything at all. I still see a couple spots. Double rainbow. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pick my muffler up to hang on this tree right here. I have a little bit of yarn or string. This right here, just like that. I'm gonna get this guy to come out to here, to hang here. What do you think? Perfect. Now what we're gonna have to do, paint this bad boy. I have my paint here. We went to Pet Boys earlier to grab this paint. So we are at Pet Boys right now, and the first thing that I have to grab is these steel brushes because I'm pretty sure the exhaust is gonna be rusty. Next thing we're gonna have to grab, two cans of this drivetrain paint. You need special paint if you're gonna be painting your engine or your muffler or anything that gets hot. This is heat resistant. It says up to 650 degrees. If you have a chrome exhaust, something nice, I'll go with Dupli color. They got this anodized look. That would look 10 times more sick. But we're gonna go with gold slash copper because that's the theme of my car. Last thing we're gonna need is the spray handle. So the reason I got this little assist gun, it makes it a whole lot more fluent to spray the spray paint. First of all, I wanna hit this thing at least eight coats. First coat's gotta be a light coat. After the first coat, you can go a little bit heavier, but I always keep every coat light until you have full coverage of the piece you're painting. So the main part people will be seeing is right here. So I gotta make sure to emphasize that area, but I still wanna cover the whole thing. <laughs> In the first coat, you always want to be nice and light. Doesn't always have to be even because as you layer the coat, as you add more paint, it will even out. Now we gotta wait 15 minutes until this thing dries and then we'll throw another coat on. Are you ready? Are you ready? What you wanna do, step about a foot away, six inches to a foot and go, yeah. Okay, I get the point. You get it? Yeah. Don't forget the top angle. <laughs> then you gotta get the bottom. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. One You're more tip. Yelling, One more tip I want to give you, okay? Don't spray, then move. Move, then start to spray. Oh, my eyes. Hold on, hold on. Yup. There you go. Yup. I'm juiced up. 
what's up, what's that? Ocean spray, ocean spray. I pulled up, I pulled up. Might drink some more today. I'm high now, might float away if I was outside now. I was outdoors, we live now. Same course out with my sideline now. Bitch winning. Them hills might pull up and wet you up. All right, guys, I'm losing daylight very rapidly. I hit this thing with many, many coats. I'm gonna finish the install tomorrow so that it's nice and sunny and so that you can see the final product in the sun. Elliot, I'm juiced up. Juiced up, what's that? Ocean spray, ocean spray. I pulled up, I pulled might drink up. some more today. I'm high now, might float away if I was outside now. If I was outdoors, we live now. Same course out with my sideline now. Bitch winning. Them hillers might pull up and wet you up. What's that? Ocean spray. Ocean spray. Don't give a fuck where you catch him at. He got a go today. Let's ride now, let's low shit up and let's slide now. Let's slide on. Can't hide now, better pull up, busting that fight now. Make sure you guys check out my other Subaru modification videos. They're right over here. Also, make sure to subscribe and stay up to date on my next Subaru modification videos.